Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So this is day five of the driveway replacement series here. Uh, we're picking up right where we left off on day four, if you haven't seen that yet. Uh, I'll put a link up above so you can check that out. But yeah, we're just continuing with the um, installation of the snowmelt loops here. Um, it's about, I want to say, like 7.30 in the morning on this one. Um, as you can see, I'm unrolling the pecs there. I think we have two more loops left to do um, that go down to the end of the driveway. Actually, that this might be the last one. And then the remaining loops will actually run out, but they turn and they go up the walkway. And if you guys stick around past the end of this time lapse, I'm going to include the walkthrough video that I do um, at the end and you'll be able to see all of that. And I take a lot of measurements and uh, I think that some of you might find that helpful. So yeah, I'm just go ahead and continuing here and uh, in a couple of minutes, you'll see the guys up the street. Uh, there we go, start to come over and, and lend a hand. And we're just cruising right along on getting this PEX zip tied down. Now, I will say that uh, you know, as we started to get more and more of these loops installed, it was a lot tougher to feed down into those two four inch pipes. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out day one, day two, those videos. Um, you'll see where I ran the four inch pipes down and tied them into a six inch that goes into the basement. So yeah, they're getting a little full. Um, I remember being a little worried that we were going to be able to get all of these in there, but we, we did it, um, made it through. So anyway, yeah, this loop, as you can see, we're, we're out in front of the house now on the walkway up to the bottom of the stairs and then working our way back. And then this loop, along with the previous one, they also kind of turn in there in front of the side entryway and they get that space in front of that door there. So... Yeah, um, if you guys notice, I unroll the pecs. Um, they also make a special tool. It's called like a uncoiler or a decoiler that you can actually put the pecs on and pull it. But really what you wanna do guys, um, you wanna unroll this stuff. You don't wanna just leave the pecs laying there and be pulling, the, pulling off of it like from the side. It's going to get all coiled up on you it's going to end up like just a big rat's nest of a mess and that's how you end up kinking um you know kinking this this pipe and once you kink it with pex b this is ever hot brand pex b five eighths you really can never repair that you need to cut it and put a coupling in and the last thing that i wanted was a coupling uh, underneath the concrete in this slab so Anyway, uh, luckily we didn't run into that. Again, it was like 90 something degrees this day. Um, humidity out of control. So that actually helped. But yeah, here we're doing our very last loop, which is going to be another counterflow loop, uh, just like these two that are closest to the garage here. And I talked about those in the day four video. So uh, you can go back and check that out. So yeah, we're just... Uh, finishing up this final loop. Now, in AutoCAD or my CAD software, when I designed all of this, these were all supposed to be pretty close to 220 feet. Now that last one right there, um, it actually ended up, you know, like right around 200, but that's okay. We're still in that plus or minus 20. So, and as you can see there, I'm, I was having a heck of a time getting that last loop um, down into the basement, but we got it. Um, so yeah, I put the guys to work on just walking around and clipping as many zip ties as they could find here at the very end. And uh, I went and got some money to pay them and then uh, thanked them for their help. They were a huge help. I couldn't have done it without them. I mean, I could have, it would have taken me twice as long and I would have been twice as sore. But uh, anyway, uh, for the rest of the day here, I'm just walking around um, zip tying the rest of the packs. If you notice on the right, if you look at the loops that are heading down the driveway, you'll see that they're pretty straight. And as the day goes on here and as the sun hits them, even right now, if you watch, you'll see how they start to get all squiggly. And that's just because this pex will expand with heat. So 
the warmer it gets, the the more it expands and moves, and you know it has no place to go, so it it starts to deviate from its line. Now, me with my you know I do have a little OCD. Um, I did go back and re-zip tie all those spots to keep them in a perfectly straight line, and you'll actually see that here in a couple of minutes with the walkthrough video. So, yeah, here I'm just. Uh, Clip and zip ties. In my hand is the sensor socket. That's the Tecmar socket for if I do want to do automated controls down the road, I have that option. Uh, this is one of the concrete guys that Mark Warsaw hires. Uh, he was dropping off the power buggy to get ready for the pour and, uh, you know, just checking out the project and the job. So, yeah, I'm just running around and uh, finishing. I also ran a conduit, you'll see here at the bottom, over to the other side of the driveway. And I just ran that along and brought it up to the back of the house just in case I ever want to put electric in over on the other side of the driveway. Um, I have a place that I can pull it and connect to, and it runs right into the basement. So it's all good. So, yeah, I mean, that's this is pretty much uh, the end of day five here and we are ready for concrete so stick around here for a couple more minutes and uh, or a couple more seconds actually and you can watch the walkthrough i'm not going to talk over that um i was talking in that video so i'm just gonna let my voice and do the talking thanks <laughs> the foundation from the brick with pecs at 13 inches from this side we have conduit at 11 12 and back in here it's like nine that's about 19 inches back back behind it we have nothing Sensors out here. Six inches out, six inches out, both sides.
nice six inch plus border. I have my cutters. There's a zip tie right there. Needs to be cut. Sensor conduit runs over there. I'll put a couple J boxes in underneath going through the brick. Lovely.
shape here. This is the basement where they all come out. Right now they all run over here. They're all tied together. And they are currently holding air pressure at about 50 PSI. Had air on it for about two hours, hasn't moved. Sorry about the camera work there, guys. Uh, like I've mentioned before, some of these videos, like these walkthroughs, were never really meant for YouTube, more just for my own reference, but thought I'd post them. Maybe they would help somebody. But anyway, if you like this, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe so that you can be notified as I upload new content. Stay tuned for day six, which is the day of the driveway pour.